the accused will give his or her testimony, and you, being the judge, will determine whether or not the accused is guilty or not guilty based off the biblical laws of God. The judge, you will deem either guilty or not guilty of these scenarios. Is it okay for Christians to celebrate Halloween? You will give your verdict at the end of the video. Deuteronomy 18, 9, 13. Warning against pagan practices. When you come into the land that the Lord your God is giving you, don't follow the disgusting practices of the nations that are there, don't sacrifice your children in the fires on your altars, and don't let your people practice divination or look for omens or use spells or charms, and don't let them consult the spirits of the dead. The Lord your God hates people who do these disgusting things, and that is why he is driving those nations out of the land as you advance. Be completely faithful to the Lord. What's five ways I celebrate Halloween as a Christian? Guilt-free. One, I don't stay up late. Two, I don't drink or party. Three, I hand out clean candy that parents don't have to check. Four, I have a fun time with friends and family doing cute little coordinated costumes. My kid wants to dress up as a cat. That's not demonic. She wants to dress up as a princess. I'm going to let her dress up as a princess. And I don't think that's unchristian to let my kid dress up as a princess or a cat. And five, I don't do any sort of demonic rituals or worshiping. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. Happy Halloween. 1 Corinthians 10, 21. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Is it okay for Christians to celebrate Halloween? What is your verdict? Are Christians guilty or are they not guilty based off the biblical laws of God? You be the judge.